Hey folks, W here. I've been a corporate comedian for over a dozen years. <laughs> That's a carton of eggs. Let me give you a little taste of what it's been like. Watch this. Please help me welcome a man who needs no introduction. Thank you so much. It is good to be in the great state of Texas. So this is what it's like to get an applause in Washington, D.C. First, I want to thank you guys for having me. And third, lima beans, peas, Brussels sprouts. No, thank you. I am not a veterinarian. I'm just like any other American. Lost my job back in 2008. <laughs> Lost my house about the same time. Now Trump, he's bragging about how he'll deal with China. Hey, I try to deal with China. It's not that easy. They just don't speak our language. <laughs> Some folks question how religious Donald Trump is. I know how we can find out. Send him hunting with Dick Cheney. <laughs> can't trust Hillary with her emails. You can bet I never did anything wrong with my emails. At least not after I sent all that money to that Nigerian prince fella. <laughs> We've got to work on our infrastructure, the inside. We've got to build roads and bridges so ordinary Americans will have a place to live under. We've got to stop giving tax breaks to companies that ship our jobs overseas. Let them stay here and go bankrupt with the rest of us. Now, I understand you're an avid outdoorsman. Oh, yes, absolutely. I love hunting elk, sheep, anything I can find, you know. <laughs> One of my favorite places to hunt is up in the north. I, I like South Dakota, North Dakota, and North North Dakota. <laughs> Do you mean Canada? Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> we have a lot of successful Canadian franchises in the room, and we're very proud of their success. Yes, I, I'm proud of you guys, too. D Dina, do you have a translator here so they can uh, <laughs> understand what we're saying? <laughs> Parley boo Frenchy? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, when it comes to uh, great family values and free world leadership, you just can't beat the bushes. <laughs> For someone who has spent much time with the president. I was overwhelmed by the presentation that my friend here just did. He is so authentic. I thought I was literally there with President George W. Bush. This guy is the real deal. This is the Coca-Cola you want to order right here. <laughs> I tell you what, when, you, when you're watching John, you swear you've been to a White House press conference. Now, I happen to know George Bush, the George Bush a little bit, and this guy is spooky good. <laughs> He's better than George W. himself. And he will come into your life, into the life of your group, and give you humor, and give you food for thought that will truly make a difference in your life. He's a seasoned keynote presenter. I use all kinds of speakers at our events, but nobody has killed it more than John has. He'll have people laughing, he'll have people rolling on the floor, and more importantly, gives them a message that they're talking about for weeks and months after the event. We've hired tons of entertainers and comedians for our events, but what I love about John Morgan is that, you know, he knocked the socks off the entire crowd, and then uh, went down after the speech and shook hands, and took pictures and selfies with our attendees, and you know, made them feel like they've actually met the President of the United States face to face, and you know, they gave him a memory. Uh, it, it, just, it was remarkable, no, like nothing we've ever seen. So if you're looking for an entertainer to knock your corporate socks off, check me out at George Bush Impersonator today.